Have you ever wondered how migrating whales can communicate with each other over hundreds or thousands of kilometers through the ocean? How scientists detect and measure the magnitude of an underwater earthquake near Hawaii from thousands of miles away in California? There's more that lurks beneath the surface of the ocean than you'd think, and the phenomenon that allows for these things to happen is called the deep sound channel, also known as the SOFAR channel. The speed of any wave, including sound, is affected by the density of the material through which it propagates. The density of water is affected by three main factors, temperature, pressure, and salinity. The dominant factors establishing this phenomenon are pressure and temperature. The SOFAR channel is a horizontal layer of water about a kilometer below the surface of the ocean, marked by the depth where the speed of sound is at its minimum, formed by the convergence between specific ocean temperatures and pressures. This changing density also creates refraction, a change in direction of the propagation of a wave resulting from its traveling at different speeds at different points along the wavefront. It works like this. Imagine you are a sound wave speeding down an even road on a pair of roller skates. Your right skate hits a rough patch and slows down, causing you to swing around to the right. If you were going down a rough road and your right skate hit a smooth patch, it would move faster and you'd swing around to the left. In the SOFAR channel, the density difference creates an interface that will speed up the outer skate of the wave front and refract the sound wave back into the channel, like the changing roller skate speed. The key to understanding this phenomenon is that the wave speed and direction of travel are related to density, similarly to the rough and smooth patches described in the roller skate example. If the sound wave propagates away from this horizontal channel, the part of the wave furthest from the channel axis travels faster, so the wave turns back towards the channel axis. As a result, the sound waves trace a path that oscillates across the channel axis over very long distances. The SOFAR channel acts as a waveguide for sound, and low-frequency sound waves within the channel may travel thousands of miles before dissipating. When sound interacts with the rough ocean surface or seafloor, some sound energy is scattered and lost. The SOFAR channel prevents the sound waves from hitting the ocean surface or seafloor, meaning that sound waves will only lose energy to absorption, the conversion of acoustic energy to heat energy. The SOFAR channel has always had a use for marine life, but it also has had many purposes throughout history, from a tool to locate downed pilots in World War II, to a way to detect submarines in the Cold War, to now being used to measure the changes in temperature of the ocean due to global warming. The SOFAR channel is a simple natural phenomenon to understand once you see how the physics works.